where we do wealth on busking. We hand out business cards and we get booked for people's weddings and stuff like that. The only reason I'm out here is because I love singing and love music. I'd rather be out here than in an office. You know, this is what we want to do. Because we want to play to people who actually stop to listen to us because they want to, as opposed to being forced. I can pack up and go anywhere in the world and, and play and perform. Yeah, this is basically my income. It's not much, but... Um, I sit out here for a couple of hours a week and entertain the folks and make a little bit of spare cash. I play just to my friends. I play just, uh, and I play just for, for food. <laughs> we get the last hour rush going out. And we decide between here and the corner down there, and this one's better because that's the food hall in there. <laughs> so you really good competition, I mean, trying to yeah, edge you out yeah, of it. We can have a few discussions with people. Really? Yeah. Do people but get kind been... of shirty about it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She is beautiful, the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh, the desert place. Lives can dance, and what it curves goes on, goes on underground. Yeah, yeah, like the lights, the beautiful, the louder they sound. Tell me how survival found its way underground. rather be out here than in an office. Yeah, I mean, you're getting paid to practice. You're, you're doing it maybe two, two to three hours a day. You know, solid work, singing against trams, and your voice gets stronger. It's amazing how many, how many, I don't know, important people there are kind of out walking around that, you know, come up to you and say, give you advice. And, and yeah, I don't want to be busking for too much longer. So I'd like to be doing, getting my money live gigs. And, This is, um, this is just like a waitressing job, I suppose. The people that give you money that you never thought would, or, you know, someone you think is going to give you money and they don't. So you, you can't see generosity. It's, it's quite fun picking out who's going to throw you a coin. For you. So, Julia, tell us, what's been happening in your life since last we met? Oh, well, a couple of minutes after I saw you on Ackland Street, a sales representative from a record company came up and just said, you know, we'll get together and put, put you out live just to see how you are um, on stage. So this is kind of like the audition, oh I suppose. <laughs> are there record company people here tonight? Yeah, yeah, there are a few. A little bit more for me, if I could. It's, it's kind of a little bit different because people are coming here to see the music, whereas, uh, you know, on the street they're just walking by, they're not paying that much attention. Yeah, so um, this is a lot harder, a lot harder. You can't stop and have a coffee in between the song and things like that. What next? 
Um, I'm not sure. Just I, I sp I've got to get my live performances a little bit better. You know, I've got to get more confidence. So I'll be playing live for a couple of more months. So, well, you know, forever, I suppose, hopefully. Um, and then we'll and take it from there. I've got to get past this crowd tonight, though, so... I'm not sure. It might go well. It might go not so well. OK, how are you doing? My name's Julia Darling, and I uh, hope you enjoy this work. Uh, tune for tonight, so I hope you enjoy your evening. Cause every look you ever get, stay on me, stay on me, and you're the only one to bring me down. It's something I know, it's something they fear. And you're the only one to bring. Okay, there was quite a bit of interest that generated from that night, and and uh, the main reaction was that people wanted, you know, to hear it on tape, and so that's where we went. We went straight to the studio so we could get something down and send it all back out to them. Have you been in the studio situation before? Uh, no, I haven't. No. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. imperfections that come when you're playing live have come out tonight so that's the kind of atmosphere that they're trying to create which is which has been good but it'll be quite hard for me to listen to the tape at home without cringing what would you cringe at oh sharp notes flat notes um twangy guitar <laughs> parts so you know exactly what you want yeah yeah i suppose i do mm. have you been out in the street the last couple of days no i haven't no saving my voice for um for this yeah. you going back um i'll probably be out there tomorrow yeah <laughs> if you look at my wallet i'll definitely be out there tomorrow so <laughs> no money it can't be oh, the last time we spoke you were recording demo tracks what's happened since then uh well we put i think it was six tracks on that first tape and uh we sent them people just for opinions and you know do they like the songs and that sort of thing and 
yeah, we got we got some enthusiastic responses back, which was really good. But so you're about to sign a publishing deal? Yeah, yeah. It's exciting. Julia, hi. How are you feeling? Good. How are you? How are you doing? Good. <laughs> good. How are you? Good. Good. That spontaneity, that kind of feeling of utter freedom, all that's going to go now. Yeah. How do you feel about well, that? Well, it's already kind of kicking in. Not not so much from, from anyone else, but in my mind, I'm, I'm starting to think sell, sell, sell. And will they like this better than that one? That, that is changing, though. I had, a, I had a big think about it yesterday. And uh, last night I wrote and just wrote for, for myself and it turned out great. Yeah, so if I keep thinking like that, everything will be fine. Julia. Hello. Come into my house. How are you doing? Good. Um, Good. Nice to see you. This is Michael Gudinski. He's the company. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been a little miracle like that. This whole thing has been quite a, a charming exercise in people being, I guess, attracted to Julia for the right reasons. And it's just all happened. So it's a great uh, combination of friends, I guess, Andrew and yeah. Peter and I. So this is where you saw it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, it's good to work with people that you like working with. Five years from now. Hopefully, you know, I'll have maybe three albums out by then. Hopefully they'll be selling nicely. I'm still writing, co-writing with people. Just a solid career happening. Nothing too big and flashy, though. It's still a nice feeling getting out and busking again. And, yeah, I'll go back to it for sure, but uh, hopefully never to have to make a living. All the times that I have cried, keeping all the things I knew inside full of power, but it's harder to ignore it. If they were right, then I'd agree, but it's then. I'm a babe. Writing and performing. One week she's dancing on the footy show, and the next week she's performing for us here on Recovery. Please make welcome the wonderful new talent, Julia Darling, with Divine Intervention. <laughs>
in here is just another shape of humanity and there is no divine intervention here it's just a girl with bullet proof Yeah, darling, that was beautiful. Thank you. Are you recording soon? Um, end of October, yeah. Yeah? So. You're going to release that soon as well? Um, possibly beginning of next year. It'll just yeah. be an EP, so. Ah, oh, we're hanging for that then. Yeah. Are these all your own songs that you're going to put on it? Yeah, yeah, they are. Beautiful, and that was your own too? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Julia, darling, look out for <laughs> Julia. John Johnson is the only commercial dirt board menu. Absolutely beautiful. Overloading God off this just recorded thing in me Bob called Overloading God as well. No divine intervention on it though. Uh, it's uh, it's been saved for that. Is it? Album. Oh, an album. When are you going to do that? Um, next year, next year. Nice. Very nice. Well, this one in the meantime will keep you going. It's got a couple of band tracks like Overloading God and a couple of more acoustic numbers as well. Very rad. Um, gig next Saturday. In at the, the SP. Uh, Gershwin Room. In the Gershwin Room in Victoria. Ah, uh, you can find Julia Darling performing there. Thank you very much for coming in today. Julie Darling and her band. Beautiful. There is to tell one big thought.
to keep her balanced when you tip the scale. There is no divine intervention here. It's just another shape of humanity. There is no divine intervention here. It's just a girl with bulletproof belief. There is no divine intervention here. Shape of humanity. There is no divine intervention here. It's just a girl with bulletproof belief. Straight is the gate. Narrow is a way that leads on to love. One big plan to sit between us when you tip the scale. There is no divine intervention here. It's just another shape of humanity. There is no divine intervention here. It's just a girl with bulletproof belief. Wait tonight. The night to retain a sight flies around in perfect movement until he holds her down. Town, it's your paper, the Herald Sun.